today we are in uh, Rome, Tivoli, exactly, we are in Villa d'Este. This is the uh, masterpiece Italian Renaissance and um, it's very, very beautiful. So we want to share with you some of the uh, um, beauty of this place. The Villa d'Este is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The villa was commissioned by Cardinal Ippolito d'Este I, son of Alfonso I and Lucrezia Borgia, on a site formerly home to a Roman villa. The works were entrusted to the architect Piero Ligorio, flanked by an impressive number of artists and craftsmen. The Cardinal Beverly had time to enjoy the solemn inauguration of the villa, which took place in September 1572 with the visit of Pope Gregory XIII. In fact, he died on December of the same year. The first owners were three cardinals of Este, governors of Tivoli. The last private owner was Archduke Francesco Ferdinando of Habsburg, heir to the throne of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He would have liked to get rid of it, selling it to the Italian state for the big sum of 2 million lire at the time. The Italian government has been waiting for a long time, but the assassination of the Archduke in Sarajevo on June 28, 1914, freed Italy from boring business. In 1918, after the First World War, the villa passed to the Italian state, which began major restoration work restoring it entirely in the years 1920-1930 and opening it to the public. This small room, it was the private uh, chapel of uh, Cardinal Polito.
Lucy? ¿Qué cosa? Banana. Banana. So this is the Vialone, the avenue. It's the first and largest avenue of the garden. So going downstairs, down of the double staircase, designed by Piero Ligorio. After a short covered loggia, which connects it to the central hall, is the mezzanine of the avenue. The Rometta Fontaine, Rome on the throne, descending from the villa at the end of a viale of hundred fountains, the Rometta Belvedere opens towards the Roman plain. The set of basins and spots find its center in the large basin, with the representation of Rome and Tronet in the center, scenically framed on the left. 
originally by the citation of the most representative monument that characterized the ancient city, Fontaine of Abundance, also called Modern Nature Fontaine. It is located close to the surrounding wall on the northern side of the garden, near the old entrance of the villa on Via del Colle. A travertine copy of Diana of Ephesus with many breasts. According to some experts, it is actually bull's cross, animal linked to the cult of the goddess, which symbolizes the fruitfulness of nature and the uninterrupted flow of life. <laughs> Rotonda dei Cipressi it is located in the lower part of the garden, on the main axis, near the ancient original entrance of the palace, on Via del Colle. It is nothing but a square in the shape of a circular hexedra, surrounded by gigantic centuries-old cypress trees.
Fontaine of Neptune, the most impressive and scenographic fountain of the villa, for the large amount of water and the powerful spot that project eye splash into the air. It also the most recent. Under the waterfall there is an nymphaeum which encloses the 16th century bust of Neptune. It is called of the civetta or the birds for the complicated mechanism that exploiting the fall of the wood causes metallic birds to appear in the fountain, emitting sounds similar to a chirping. Another mechanism is the maiden all appear which with its dreadful song frightened the birds and darkened their soul.
De Peschiere placed in front of the fountain of Neptune, from which they received the water, and surrounded by lush vegetation. The Peschiere are three large rectangular basins. They were used to breed species of freshwater fish, to give to who stayed at the villa the opportunity to enjoy fishing and enjoy fish. The Picchiarone, also called the Giglio. This fountain is located under the lodge of the Pandora on the main axis of the villa's garden. Elegant and peaceful, the fountain was added almost a century after the villa was built in 1661, commissioned by Cardinal Bernardo d'Este to Gian Lorenzo Bergman. Sì, sì, quella è bella.
Pegasus Fontaine Located between rocks and vegetation, behind the Sibilla Albunea, on the underlining of eight fontaine. The fontaine is formed by a circular tank, in the center of which there is a large rock, on which the statue on the, of the mythical winged horse Pegasus triumphs born from the beheading of Medusa, rampant on two legs and with spread wings. It was almost taking flight after drinking in the surge. The composition records the story of Pegasus, who arrived on Mount Licona, slamming his base on the ground made the hypocrine spring gush, sacred to the muses. of 100 fontaine. Designed by Piero Ligorio, they flank a 100 meter long avenue that connects the Ovate Fontaine, also known as Tivoli Fontaine, with Rometta, also known as Rome. Allegorically, the three small parallel streams that form at different heights to feed the gushes, represent the Albuneo River, the Anien River and the Ercolaneo River, the three tributaries of the Tevere River. The hundred spots are organized in two overlapping rows of anthropomorphic marks, while towering above the Itis channel, sparks generated and alternated by sculptures of lilies, obelisks, little ships and eagles, symbols pleasing to the cardinal.
Organ contained. The contained of the hydraulic organ covers its main to the water mechanism inside it, which made the organ not disappear. It is made up of a tall style building, which is a prelude to the baroque, designed by Chiro Liberino.
Thank you.